Ectasis is the molding of the cuticula in many invertebrates. This process of molding is the defining feature of the clade Ectisozoa, comprising the arthropods, nematodes, velvet worms, horse hair worms, tardigrades, and cephalohincha. Since the cuticula of these animals often forms an inelastic exoskeleton, it is shed during growth and a new, larger covering is formed. The remnants of the old, empty exoskeleton are called exuvery. After molting, an arthropod is described as tenral, a callow. It is fresh, pale and soft-bodied. Within one or two hours, the cuticle hardens and darkens following a tanning process similar to that of the tanning of leather. It is during this short phase that the animal expands, since growth is otherwise constrained by the rigidity of the exoskeleton. Growth of the limbs and other parts normally covered by hard exoskeleton is achieved by transfer of body fluids from soft parts before the new skin hardens. A spider with a small abdomen may be undernourished but more probably has recently undergone ectasis. Some arthropods, especially large insects with tracheal respiration, expand their new exoskeleton by swallowing or otherwise taking in air. The maturation of the structure and coloration of the new exoskeleton might take days or weeks in a long-lived insect. This can make it difficult to identify an individual if it has recently undergone ectasis. Ectasis also allows damaged tissue and missing limbs to be regenerated or substantially reformed. Complete regeneration may require a series of molts, the stump becoming a little larger with each molt until it is a normal, or near normal, size. Etymology The term ectasis comes from ancient Greek, a one quarter iii per mil, to take off, strip off. Process In preparation for ectasis, the arthropod becomes inactive for a period of time, undergoing a polysis. For most organisms, the resting period is a stage of preparation during which the secretion of fluid from the molting glands of the epidermal layer and the loosening of the underpart of the cuticle occur. Once the old cuticle has separated from the epidermis, the digesting fluid is secreted into the space in between them. However, this fluid remains inactive until the upper part of the new cuticle has been formed. At this stage, the animal is known as ferret. Then, by crawling movements, the animal pushes forward in the old integumentary shell, which splits down the back allowing the animal to emerge. Often, this initial crack is caused by an increase in blood pressure within the body, forcing an expansion across its exoskeleton, leading to an eventual crack that allows for certain organisms such as spiders to extricate themselves. While the old cuticle is being digested, the new layer is secreted. All cuticular structures are shed at ectasis, including the inner parts of the exoskeleton, which includes terminal linings of the alimentary tract and of the tracheal if they are present. Insects Each stage in the development of an insect between molts and endoptera gota is called an instar, or stadium, and each stage between molts and exoptera gota is called a nymph. Endoptera gota tend to have few instars, while other insects such as Exoptera gota can have anywhere up to 15 nymph stages. Endoptera gota insects have more alternatives to molding, such as expansion of the cuticle and collapse of air sacs to allow growth of internal organs. The process of molding in insects begins with the separation of the cuticle from the underlying epidermal cells and ends with the shedding of the old cuticle. In many of them it is initiated by an increase in the hormone estrogen. This hormone causes a polysis a euro the separation of the cuticle from the epidermis, secretion of new cuticle materials beneath the old, degradation of the old cuticle, after a polysis, molding fluid is secreted into the space between the old cuticle and the epidermis, this contains inactive enzymes which are activated only after the new epicuticle is secreted. This prevents them from digesting the new procuticle as it is laid down. The lower regions of the old cuticle are euro the endocortical and mesocortical euro are then digested by the enzymes and subsequently absorbed. The exocortical and epicortical resist digestion and are hence shed at ectasis. Spiders Spiders generally change their skin for the first time while still inside the egg sac, and the spiderling that emerges generally looks fairly recognizably like the adult. However, there may be confusion in trying to identify the species if one does not realize that it is a juvenile one is working with. Even if one does know this, 
it may not be possible to identify it with any confidence, since most keys refer to adult characters. The number of molds varies, both between species and genders, but generally will be between five times and nine times before the spider reaches maturity. Not surprisingly, males generally being smaller than females, the males of many species mature faster and do not undergo ectasis as many times as the females before maturing. Members of the Megalomorphy generally are very long-lived, sometimes 20 years or more, and typically they molt annually even after they mature. Spiders stop feeding some time before molting, usually several days. The physiological processes of releasing the old exoskeleton from the tissues beneath typically cause various color changes, such as darkening. If the old exoskeleton is not too thick it also may be possible to see new structures, such as seti, from outside. However, nervous contact with the old exoskeleton is maintained till a very late stage in the process. Commonly the new, tenwell exoskeleton is wrinkled because it has to accommodate a larger frame than the previous and star, while fitting into the previous exoskeleton until it has been shed. Most species of spiders hang from silk during the entire process either dangling from a drop line, or fastening their claws into web fibers attached to a suitable vase. The discarded, dried exoskeleton typically remains hanging where it was abandoned once the spider has left. To open the old exoskeleton, the spider generally contracts its abdomen to supply enough fluid to pump into the prosimer with sufficient pressure to crack it open along its lines of weakness. The carapace lifts off from the front, like a helmet, as its surrounding skin ruptures, but it remains attached at the back. Now the spider works its limbs free and typically winds up dangling by a new thread of silk attached to its own exuvery, which in turn hang from the original silk attachment. At this point the spider is a callow. It is tenral and vulnerable. As it dangles, its exoskeleton hardens and takes shape. The process may take minutes in small spiders, or some hours in the larger megalomorphs. Some spiders, such as some cinema species, members of the Thomasidae mate while the female is still callow, during which time she is unable to eat the male. Eryptorids Eryptorids are a group of chelicerates that became extinct in the late Permian. They underwent ectasis in a similar manner to extant chelicerates, and most fossils are thought to be of exuvery, rather than cadavers. References External links, media related to ectasis at Wikimedia Commons.